Now I'm going to show how to clean your 3D printer nozzles using a method called a nylon cold pull. Doing a nylon cold pull can remove some contaminating materials from the inside of your nozzle. It can also help clear up any extrusion problems that you might be seeing. If you're noticing that the nozzle can't push enough material, it's not coming out smoothly, or it's not coming out at all. So you're going to need a few things to do a nylon cold pull, as the name implies. You'll need some length of nylon material. You're also going to need a short length of extra Bowden tube. The first step is removing the material from the nozzle that you're going to be cleaning out. With the filament removed, next we remove the Bowden tube from the print head. Now we're going to insert the small piece of Bowden tube that I showed you before. Make sure it's all the way down in contact with the nozzle. Now the print head is still hot from being in the filament menu. So while it's hot, I'm going to start manually feeding the nylon into the print head. Once you have pushed some filament through and you did see that nylon was making it all the way through the nozzle, you can exit the filament menu or change the temperature otherwise and allow the printer to cool down. We're going to allow the nylon to cool in the nozzle until it reaches about 140 or 130 degrees Celsius. At that point it will be hardened enough where it's going to be attached to any plastic or contaminants that are in there. But we should still be able to remove it off the walls of the print head so it should pull out and clear it out. Now the temperature has dropped to 130 Celsius. I'm going to try to pull it out. You can see here all the contaminants that were inside the nozzle. It's not just that purple color from that old filament that was in there. There's other stuff in there too. You can see other filament colors. You can even see that little shiny thing right near the tip. That appears to be a tooth from one of the filament tube or Bowden tube connectors. That must have broken off, fallen down in there at some point and got pushed down into the nozzle. That could definitely cause some extrusion problems. So it's good that we took it out of there. And so now that we've seen that there, it's probably a good idea to change the Bowden tube connector as well. Now that we've completed our nylon cold pull, we can reinsert the Bowden tube. Make sure it's fully inserted and secure. And reload filament into the nozzle that we just cleaned. We can check out how good our handiwork was. That's how we complete a nylon cold pull. It's a great way to extend the life of your printer nozzles without having to replace them entirely. It's not going to work in all situations. There might be some clogs that are too built up with carbonized material that's just really cooked and you won't be able to get it off the nozzle this way. If that's the case, there is one more thing you can try to give those nozzles a second chance at life. Check out our video with how to clean nozzles with fire.